Alright, so in this video I'm going to cover how I've gotten my calculator to play music. Um, I can show you the source code uh, if you would like. Um, Okay, so this is the source code. Um, so the way that this works is um, by outputting repeatedly um, let's see. Well, you set up an interrupt. Um, the interrupt is right here. This is enable interrupt right here. That's FB. Um, where is it? This is reading keys. Um, there's going to be a loop here somewhere. Ah. Here it is. Okay, so. Um, this is load E, or sorry, load A, three, and then it XORs three, um, and then it sends it out to the zero port, which is actually this um, input output port, which I have um, hooked up my adapter to. Um, and then it loads EA90, which this was before I did my formatting trick, so I'm going to assume that's right here. And it's just going to keep XORing by 3. So it's going to toggle between 3 and 0. Now, that's basically on and off. And you wind up calling this interrupt at a frequency. And that frequency is the frequency of the sound in hertz. That's cool. All right, so um, without losing my source code, I'm going to go ahead and run this. All right, so it looks like it's doing nothing, but actually, it's playing uh, some music that I wrote myself, potentially to be used with Wings of War. I never got around to adding music to the, uh, the current iteration. But yeah, um, I figured that was pretty unique. And I can prove that it's, it's coming from the calculator. Like, you just, you hit that, and then it just stops, and then... I mean, good stuff. That's all for this one.